Hello everyone and welcome to the start of another reading vlog. Um, reading vlog, reading vlog. I love filming these videos. Um, so this weekend, this weekend, I'm just repeating myself over again. So I'm excited to start another reading vlog with you guys. This weekend I have very limited things plans which is on purpose because I want to read. I am starting this reading vlog a titch later than I normally do because I met up with a friend after work today, which was very, very nice. But tonight I'm kind of flying solo and then all day tomorrow I just have a few errands, filming obviously, but I'm gonna read and then Sunday I have nothing planned at all and I could not be more excited. I'm hoping to finish two books this weekend and me and Millie are just gonna hang out. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be just a jolly good time. But before we jump into the vlog itself, let's, as we normally do, go over the reading plans. So let's do that. So my reading plans for this weekend are a little more conflicted than normal. Um, I'm currently in the midst of two books, which is very, very rare for me. I've started Emergency Contact of about 130-ish pages of the way through. I am enjoying it. I'm excited that Sasha and I picked this book this month, but at the same time, I'm not gonna lie, I am not in the mood for contemporary and it's making it just difficult for me to read like everything about the book is really great but I also don't feel like reading it does that even make sense um so it's like nothing against the book it's everything against me so because I've been having a hard time getting the motivation to read this I've also started last night wolf speaker and I quickly read 100 pages like instantaneously because your girl just always wants to read fantasy I just always want to read fantasy so ultimately I really want to finish emergency contact this weekend and then also wolf speaker and maybe even start another book that would be fantastic yeah i'm definitely feeling uh, i'm i just haven't struggled like this in so long basically picking up a book um i think it's because in normal circumstances i'm really excited to read emergency contact but i would be waiting to pick it up until i'm in the mood but because we picked it as a book club pick and i normally always film reviews for those books during the month it's like almost the end of the month like i need to read it and I just like, I'm not in the mood, which is also hindering my enjoyment of the book. So it's like this weird double-edged sword situation. And I'm not quite sure how to move forward. Honestly, I might finish it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna film a review. I don't know. I have such conflicted feelings. Has anyone felt this way before? I don't know if it's a weird like book reviewer only thing. Honestly, in pretty much every other scenario of my life, I would just wait to pick this book up another day but I cannot. It's really good so far, like the characters are great, the writing is great, I'm just like not in the mood. Ugh, the struggle. But anyway, those are my reading plans. Um, Clay is currently not home right now, and so I am just relaxing. I think I'm gonna go make the bed and get all settled in there and watch some Survivor. <laughs> I'm almost out of Survivor seasons, by the way, and it's absolutely tragic. I only have the newest one left, which is absolutely bonkers that I've watched so many seasons, but it's also so sad. And then I'm also gonna read probably more Wolf Speaker um, because I am loving that book so far. So those are my plans for the evening. I really also need to make dinner, but I'm also really lazy. So we'll see when and how that happens because I really don't feel like cooking. So 8 p.m. on a Saturday, tuning in to Survivor also. I finally hung my mirror I bought forever ago. Well, I say I. Clay finally hung the mirror I bought forever ago. But you know, sometimes you gotta pass your Fridays in the way that you love the most, which is Survivor. And reading in Survivor. My two favorite things. Clay's back and he brought food. I all of a sudden started not feeling the best, so I'm really excited to eat this and then maybe go lay down and possibly go to bed right away. So much for my reading plans for tonight, Clay. Side. On the plane? Yeah, I'm on page 150. Wow, we'll talk about this later. This is a new development. Alrighty, I'm in my PJs. I'm gonna sit down and read some Wolf Speaker. Again, I'm not feeling the greatest. I think I'm just really tired. It's not that late, but I think I'm gonna read for a little bit and then go to sleep and try to just get a really good full night's sleep. And then relax tomorrow. You know, just do some filming and some returns. Um, and that's really it. I have some uh, coworkers coming over tomorrow night, which is exciting. But other than that, I don't have anything planned for tomorrow, but now I'm going to read, so goodbye. Good morning, got some coffee, got some Survivor. It's a little gloomy outside. I do need to film today, so I think I'm gonna finish this and start getting ready for the day to face it, and then I need to do some errands. Blurg. 
Hi guys, I have been so bad about filming this morning. Clay and I have literally been doing nothing. It's like 12.30, but I am now about to film a video. Like, I need to film it now and then edit it, and then I will get to reading and updating you about my life. If you're curious about what I'm wearing, got this cute tee on and sweatpants. What's new? What's new? Nothing's new. Just finished filming. I only have like 35 minutes of footage to get through. <sighs> Most of the time I'm pretty good at one taking and like getting all my words out, but today I was having the hardest time. It was like word salad. I had to start over so many times. I have so much footage. Oh man. Oh well, uh, at least it's Saturday, but gotta get to editing now. Right, Clay? Yes, ma'am. There's the remnant of the video. The ring light, I'm gonna put Survivor on. It's my only, it's my only savior from this, but I gotta get started. Uploading my video, gonna take a lunch break, watch some Survivor, and hopefully start reading soon. I feel like the day is just like falling through my hands. <laughs> Whew, I feel like I've been doing an awful job vlogging today, um, but great news, my video is now up, so that's finally done, and I think it's what? T minus three hours until my coworkers arrive. So I've been doing a bit of cleaning, but I now need to read. So I've sequestered myself in the bedroom with Matilda amongst my new shams. And I am going to pick up Wolf Speaker by Tamara Pierce because I just feel like reading fantasy, Dosh Guard it, and I'll finish Emergency Contact tomorrow when I have more time. But I realized I never actually gave you guys like my initial thoughts on this at all. I read another 50 pages last night before I fell asleep. So I would say I'm about f almost 50% of the way through, which is really, really great. But this is the sequel, um, the second book in the quartet by Tamara Pierce. And this series is one I just really, really enjoy. It's like incredibly nostalgic for me. The writing just like thr throws me back to growing up reading these stories by her. And I'm just excited that I hadn't read this series as a child, so I get to read it for the first time. And it's also interesting that I read Tempest, Tempest and Slaughter first, which is technically a prequel series to this. Well, the, there's only one book out, but there's going to be another book, but it's technically the prequel to this. So it's giving me some context, some different context for some of the characters that are existing in this, uh, which I think is really cool. That being said, um, I'm liking the second book so far. It definitely starts out a little more action-packed than the first one because we're already familiar with the characters and the magic. I really, really love Diane um, as the main character and I think her magic is really interesting. This whole wild magic concept and like being able to speak to animals and stuff I think is really cool. And I just like love her spunkiness and she, it's just like a great classic YA fantasy story. I don't know, I'm really, really enjoying it. I really think I might be able to finish it right now. So I'll let you know, but that's my hopes and dreams is to finish this. And then maybe after I'm done reading, I'll make Clay talk about what he's read in Scythe because he's read how many pages, Clay? 150, 150 pages. So he's made a good chunk of the way through that book really quickly. How are you feeling about it so far, Clay? Very interesting. Yeah. Anyway, he seems to be enjoying it. So I'll let him speak to that more later. Um, I changed into my outfit for today. I'm wearing a white shirt. Hopefully I don't stain it later. But yeah, I gotta get to reading now. No more vlogging. Goodbye. Hello everyone, it's a few hours later and I have just been reading, reading, reading. I read over 150 pages of Wolf Speaker and I would totally finish it, but I need to get some cleaning done before people arrive at my apartment. So I'll have, I have like 90 pages left to read, uh, maybe later tonight, but most likely tomorrow, but I'll definitely finish it this weekend and then move on to finish Emergency Contact because, um, I mean, I feel like I can read this in like one easy sitting. I'm really liking it so far. It's really awesome to see the growth that Diane has had, even just from book one to book two. And it's exciting to think about what we're gonna get in the next two books. Um, the politics are really, really interesting. And again, the context I got from the prequel make the politics even more interesting, I feel like. Um, Millie and Claire are playing. But yeah, I gotta go and I need to clean. But I'll also show you my OOTD before people arrive because I like it a lot. Quick. OOTD before people come over. I'm wearing this cute Topshop button down shirt. I recently got it and I'm a really big fan. I mean, I'm like the button down queen, but I'm a really big, I like these tortoise shells on it. I don't know, and it's like a really nice lightweight material, which will be great 
for when it gets real sweaty outside, if you know what I mean. I'm wearing um, some made ball jeans that are actually new as well. These are on sale right now, and they're the Demi Boot Cut, which is my favorite pair. I put a hole in my last pair, so I was super pleased that, like, you know, the equivalent pair went on sale. It has, like, a little inseam cutout. I will say, for some reason, this, like, keeps <laughs> like I don't know what's wrong with with my left leg but it keeps turning my jean this way so I got a little weird jean situation then I'm wearing these like cut out booties that I've had for a while and they're really comfortable it's not super warm outside but with a light jacket I won't be too freezing that's kind of the world we live in now it's like dress to be not freezing because we're no longer dressing practically because we're over it so Oh, also, we cleaned the apartment. Oh my god, mini apartment tour, and it's over. Good morning, I have some coffee. I have Matilda, I'm about to put some Survivor on, and finish the upload process of my video. Hello everyone, um, I have finished filming, and Clay and I are now about to run some errands, which we're actually pretty excited about because the weather is amazing. I also wanted to quickly sit down and like kind of apologize for if this vlog is a little shorter than normal. Yesterday, I had a bit of a bad anxiety day and so it was hard for me to film sometimes but feeling a lot better today I'm gonna run some errands with Clayton wearing my new pink glasses and then I'm gonna come back and read I have a lot we have a lot of errands to run so I think it's gonna take a couple hours but once we're back we'll be done I'm wearing the exact same thing I wore yesterday cuz I'm an alpha repeater so sorry <laughs> sorry world but we gotta go so we'll check in we'll check in well, I'll bring you along actually on the errands. It's no, so just hold tight. Back at the mall. Seems like I'm always bringing stuff back to the mall that I buy on the internet late at night. <laughs> ah, the weather is so beautiful. I'm walking outside with the light jacket on. We're also making our way to our last errand, Clay. We're back home, and I'm actually so proud of myself because you know when you do a bunch of returns and you don't buy anything, I'm like. I made the adult decision. But I also wanted to show you, we ran by the grocery store as one of our errands, and I got some flowers for spring. I picked up some hydrangeas and some baby's breath, and I'm gonna make a bouquet, and it's gonna feel so nice. I'm so excited. So, picked up some flowers, it's the only thing I bought, and I'm not mad about it, so, huzzah. And here are the flowers. I think they're so pretty. Clay is pretending to be excited about them, but like, I have enough excitement for the both of us. I'm a big fan. Big fan. I also picked up these because, you know what? Because I love myself. I do need to change out of my white shirt though because that is a recipe for disaster for sure. Making some lunch. We are a little backlogged on our HelloFreshes so we're doing two in one day. This is from last week. It's like a pork loin, apple, potato, cauliflower situation and then we'll make some stuffed peppers later tonight. Having a bit of a late lunch too, but it's gonna be tasty. Chopped up, chopped up some snow peas, and we have some cauliflower and potatoes cooking. Browning my pork tenderloin. Things are coming together. Put the pork tenderloin in the oven, and now I'm cooking some apples and butter and thyme. Yummy, 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 yummy. And lunch is served. It's like such an obscene amount of mashed potatoes. Lunch is done, Clay is watching basketball, and I am come, I've come into the bedroom to finish Wolf Speaker. Um, I have like, like 100 pages left maybe, maybe 80. So it should be a quick, quick finish. And then I'm going to finish Emergency Contact today. I feel very inspired to read both books this weekend. So I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna read two books this weekend. Let's go, gotta go. Hey guys, happy to report in. I've taken some Instagram photos and I finished Wolf Speaker and it's only 4.30 so I really feel strongly I'm gonna be able to finish Emergency Contact as tonight as well. In terms of my thoughts about Wolf Speaker, I really enjoyed it. I think I liked it more than the first book because we got to see Diane's magic grow even further and she was also kind of, um, facing an adventure more alone so she had to rely more on herself her wits her tenacity to like save the day which i personally really enjoyed and i feel like the next ones are just going to get better and better as she gets older and older it's also really cool to kind of see a character grow up literally throughout this entire novel she also keeps gaining like more powers throughout this story which is always fun to uncover as she uncovers it herself they're also just like the perfect 
length for this type of tale. Um, like 300 pages, I feel like I can just sit down and fly through the whole thing. Um, so I just feel like it's a very well balanced book. And I'm so excited I read it. I really want to read the next one soon. I just have to finish Emergency Contact, which again, I've mentioned this. I'm not like super in the mood for. I'm just not in the mood for contemporary at all, which makes me feel awful because I'm reading a book that is really good and objectively I'm reading it. I'm like, this is really good, but like my heart isn't in it. You know what I mean? Um, and it's just because I'm not in the mood for it. So it's like making me have like a negative like heart feeling towards a book that doesn't deserve a negative heart feeling but I am gonna finish it tonight because I need to get it read before the end of the month so I can tell you guys my thoughts about it um, but it is definitely an interesting situation and then after that you know I'm not quite sure I definitely feel like rereading something soon because there are some like YA series I've read the first book of but haven't continued on and they're all about to end soon you know what I mean like we're getting the third book soon so maybe I'll try rereading something I don't know so many options I just got a whole bunch of new books maybe I'll read To Kill a Kingdom I don't know so many books to read so little time story of my life but I'm really happy I finished my first book of the weekend and I'm gonna finish my second one soon I will catch up with you guys when I start that I am going to go take some Instagram photos with Clayton because while the sun's still here, we gotta get some shots in. So, toodles. Clay and I have finished shooting all of our photos, so I'm putting Survivor on, and I'm gonna edit all the photos now. I might have a cheeky snack of Cheetos. Things are happening. And then I'm going to read once I finish all this. So, you know, better early than never. But gotta do this first, and then I'm gonna do that, and it's gonna be great. Look at Miss Sleepy Matilda. She's passed out holding her best friend, Mr. Whale. Too cute, I can't even handle it, oh my gosh. Hi guys, so I have finished season 34 of Survivor. Um, happy with the winner, oh, I'm zooming in, oh god. And I finished editing those photos, so I'm going to read now. I'm gonna pick back up Emergency Contact. As you guys know, I'm over 100 pages into this book and I'm hoping to finish it tonight, so 300 pages are gonna be read tonight, but I feel like I can fly through this because I read those 100 pages I felt like like this Like like this so I really feel like I'm gonna be able to do it And I also feel like it's about to pick up like I've read some other reviews online Which has really kept me like it's gonna push me to move forward Because one I'm enjoying it now, but people say like oh like after a hundred or so pages Like things start the plot really starts to pick up and I really feel like once I hit that point I'm gonna be really invested in the story and it's just gonna like change the game for me emotionally with this book. So I will update you once I get a little further, but I am gonna sit down and read now. I just want them to start texting. They haven't even started texting yet. Hey guys, it's a bit later. Clay and I have both been reading, well mostly just me. Clay came in here and I'm gonna make him talk about Scythe because he's read pages. But first I'm gonna update you on Emergency Contact. I read a, another 80 pages and I have to say I'm already starting to like get into the story more I the texting has started so I feel like I'm already like beginning to see the beginning and the flourishing of their relationship this book had a bit of a slow start but like I really do feel like I'm enjoying it more now that they're communicating more on a regular basis and also Penny as a character is really funny like she just has this great sarcastic wit and she just calls it like it is that just makes me laugh it's just the humor that really appeals to me so I have to say this book is picking up and I'm also getting used to the Austin discrepancies it kind of definitely pulled me out of the story in the beginning but now I'm just kind of used to it that it doesn't distract me so much anymore but more importantly Clay let's talk about you how many pages have you read of Scythe I have read 139 Wow what are your feelings so really interesting yeah book Really cool, so. Great concept, right? Uh, yeah, so the concept is that people don't die naturally anymore. It's far ahead in the future. Mm -hmm. You're essentially immortal unless these people called Scythe decide you're gonna die. And the concept of immortality, how it would interact with the world and how um, these, these, essentially there's this cloud-based system where all knowledge exists, but when you have infinite time, kind of, because like people don't care to you. learn anymore. If you live forever, time doesn't matter. 
So learning doesn't matter. Why would you do anything different if you're going to live forever? So life really has value because it's finite. Mm -hmm. And when life is infinite, any individual thing you do doesn't really matter because the value of time placed on what you right, do. Right, right, right. And that, so this book definitely deals with the construct of mm -hmm. time and mortality. It deals with the concept of like morality and also power mm -hmm. and the interesting thing is too is like i don't really want to spoil anything but sites have different methods and it's based on their own personal constructed beliefs mm -hmm. which is really interesting to learn more about i don't even want to say too much because clay's only 139 pages yeah. in but the thunderhead is also a very yeah. interesting aspect of the story so i'm glad you're liking and it i'll say one more thing about this this world is so complex and you have tons of questions as it's going on and they answer them slowly. Asking, yeah. So it's like really rewarding because every chapter you get a like a little bit more information. And you want to know. And yeah. it's so it's like you're just addicted to like yeah. how it is. Like I'll say this. And the diary entries are I'll, good too. I'll say this, I just had read the Gathering of or a Darker Shade of Magic mm -hmm. series, which I had a ton of questions. And they most I mean it was over three books and they mostly answered them, but sometimes it felt like forever and I was like, I'm three books into the series and I still don't understand how this part of the world mm -hmm. works. This I feel like I'm learning really quickly, but there's also so much to learn. And there's so much going on. And I I almost feel bad that I didn't put Thunderhead, the sequel that's out to this book for you, because I feel like you're going to want to read it right next. And you're allowed to, by the way. You can diverge off the TBR if you so wish when you're done with Scythe to read Thunderhead, because you, because I think Thunderhead's even better than Scythe. Yeah. Anyways, this is really cool. The writing style is great. I'm glad you're liking Neil it. Neil Schusterman. Neil Schusterman. I've it's read a, a lot writer. of his books. And yeah, and it's uh, the writer's perspective is really cool too. Yeah, there's just so it's so good, right? Mm hmm Anyway, I gotta cook dinner now because it's like almost 9 p.m. So it's time to eat. We're making quinoa, beef, pepper bowls. So go spurs go. Chow down. So here's dinner. One of our favorites, these Southwestern stuffed peppers. Super good filling and kind of makes you not hate yourself because it has, you know, vegetables and quinoa and those sort of things. And, you know, that next to our donut box really just helps with our self esteem. <laughs> concept of this meal is you make this delicious tomato mixture with beef and onions and soon to be quinoa and then you roast some peppers and you stuff the peppers and you put it all together and it's super fast and it's super freaking tasty here it is a bon appetit Reagan does the cooking Clay does the cleaning hello everyone it's post dinner and I've just been reading in the bedroom and I'm now on page 250 of this book which means I have about a hundred and like 40 50 pages left so doable for tonight so I'm not gonna waste a lot of time chatting Clay's just staring at me um and I'm gonna get back to reading and hopefully finish it tonight before I fall asleep and I can still get a good full night's sleep for work tomorrow because I have to go to work tomorrow tragedy but yeah i'm just gonna read now and i'll fill you guys on everything tomorrow hi everyone it's the customary end to the vlog two days post the vlog ending and i just wanted to wrap up everything that i ended up reading um over this past weekend and i'm so pumped to say i read two books well i finished two books which i was exactly what i set out to do which is just so very, very exciting. So I figured I would go over quickly everything that I read because I never um, told you my ultimate thoughts about emergency contact. Just a reminder, I was 100 pages into both of these books coming into the weekend and I officially finished both of them. So starting first with Wolf Speaker by Tamara Pierce, Tamara Pierce. This is the second book to the Immortals Quartet 
And I'm really enjoying this so far. This has like animal magic as its center and we follow our main character Diane as she grows up and into her magic. Basically going on all sorts of adventures and also solving a bunch of problems. I really enjoyed the sequel. I actually enjoyed it more than the first one. It was nice to see Diane kind of as a solo individual in this. She was really much definitely the crafter of her own destiny and her solutions in this story, which is really nice to see. Uh, she's getting more confident in herself and in her magic. It was really um, like just a nice sequel and I'm really excited to read the third book very very soon as I am kind of flying through this quartet It's definitely keeping my interest quite a bit and I also love seeing um, Numar I believe his name is as an adult because I read the prequel series um, Tempest and Slaughter which has him as a child So it's definitely interesting to see him as an adult so that when I read the sequel to Tempest and Slaughter when that comes out next year I feel like I'll have a whole bunch of more context moving on now to emergency contact, which I finished um, I started this book uh, and started the weekend kind of being okay about this book I wasn't really in the mood to read it. I wasn't super excited about it. Um, I liked it It wasn't anything to do with the book. I just really wasn't in the mood But as I progressed through the novel basically once I hit like the 150 mark um, It kind of flipped on me. I started getting really into the story really into the characters the texting element of the story really began to progress and it just sucked me in much much more I also just found the main character Penny to be kind of hilarious and sarcastic like she's not incredibly likable in some capacities but I found her to be very likable because I found her to be very real she's flawed and I found that to be more endearing than like a perfect main character. I'm interested because a lot of people or rather like publicity compared this to all the boys I loved before. And I just like don't see that comparison. This feels much more like older. It has a lot more um, dramatic elements that are it's more like slice of life, meaning it has happiness and sadness versus I feel like to all the boys I love before which by the way I love is much more like cute and sweet this has a little more dynamic emotion to it and I ultimately really really liked it um, I really liked the concept of kind of like a modern romance element of texting and digital romance I feel like that is very realistic for the 21st century so but yeah ultimately I really enjoyed both of the books I finished this month I'm really really pumped so far I'm five books into the month so far and, and I've started my sixth book so hopefully I'll finish that but that will be in another reading vlog. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to be very consistent with these reading vlogs. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry this was a little all over the place per usual, but I will see you guys soon with another reading vlog soon. Goodbye.